So the majority of you guys currently work in industry or you'll be students in higher education very soon to be working in industry and whether you're in a small business through to an enterprise, in order to fit the narrative that I'm going for here, there's a couple of things that are almost certain and the first thing is that at work you use a monitor, maybe two or three if you're lucky you manage to swipe one off someone's desk as they leave in the company and two, your monitors are probably absolute naff and although they show stuff and you think that's as good as it gets, you can actually feel a lot more comfortable and be more productive at work with a monitor more suited for the work that we do. So first off, right, there's always exceptions to the rule. I get that. I'm addressing what in my experience is the majority. And that is in engineering offices, buying a monitor, it's typically an afterthought, isn't it? You recruit a new starter, you're so engrossed in the personnel procedures, sorting out contracts all along whilst trying to get your own job done. And then it's a last minute panic when someone like me pipes up and says, have you bought in the CAD license yet and sorted out a workstation for the new starter? And then everything hits the fan and you go into meltdown mode. And at no point have I ever heard the IT team or the hiring manager say, oh, and can you make sure you sort out and include a top end professional monitor to pair up with the four grand workstation buying in? No, how it typically goes is, right, I've, uh, I've checked and there's no old spare monitors kicking about in the server room and I'm going to freak out and kick in the throat mate if you even suggest that we pay more than 200 quid for a screen. So seriously, right, just to verify this so I'm not making it up, do a Google image search for engineering office in quotes and you'll see little else in the returned images than the basic regular old HP monitors, Dell monitors, the traditional squares screens that people have been getting bundled in with computers for 15 years plus. Then go back to Google and do another image search for company reception desk and see if you can spot where I'm going with this. We're giving our product design engineers the same regular monitors that would supply onto a reception desk. And not, don't get me wrong, I'm not devaluing the work that a receptionist does, but you wouldn't supply them with a four grand workstation either, would you? Now I know I'm about to deviate off into the realms of speculation here, but perhaps, I don't know, it's just a lack of awareness. To many people, a screen is just a screen. They're all the same, aren't they? Yeah, they could be bigger and they could be smaller, but a bigger screen isn't going to make a drawn open any faster, so kind of what's the point in getting one? Well, old mechanical hard disks done that job just fine for many years until the solid state drive came along, and we all know how that ended up changing the game. So please, if you will, allow me to enlighten you on the solid state drives of the monitor world. Let me live that fantasy. Be blown away in the turbulence of its magnificence. This is not a gimmick. This is not an exclusive gaming accessory, nor is it anything that should be considered an out of the question purchase for a professional office. What this is, is something that every single CAD user should have on their desks right now. And whether you're a 2D AutoCAD user, 3D designer, engineer, rendering professional, architect, Revit, Max Meyer, Keyshot, SolidWorks, Pro Ecotier, whatever your organization's design tool of choice is, you're enabling your engineers to be more productive if you replace your regular monitors with one of these. And when I say these, I don't mean this and only this exact brand and model. What I'm talking about here is the size and the form factor. Embracing ultra-wide panels is a baseline standard for professional users. And in my opinion, this one is actually the sweet spot. Specifically, if you're, if you're interested in looking up this one, it's the LG 34UC97. It's a couple of years old now at this point, so it's probably been superseded by something a little newer. So look up the 34UM88 or the 34UC98. Now in this video, I'm intentionally choosing to not discuss specific specs, and I'll tell you why. I'm pitching this video at an audience of people who frankly, I know they don't care about that stuff. They don't understand and they don't want to understand specs. And they'd switch off in a heartbeat if I go off on one reference in technical specifics. This is for the benefit of those who use basic binary logic to buy business tools. Is it better than what I've got? Yes or no? Will I get a return on investment? Yes or no? Can I justify it? Yes or no? Tell me in simple terms that I'll understand why I should break the norm and consider buying this instead of the regular monitors. So the bottom line, these ultra-wide monitors allow CAD designers, engineers, and frankly any other working professional for that matter to be much more productive than they are right now using their standard regular monitors. And here's why. This doesn't just take the same amount of screen space and stretch it to be wider. It doesn't work like that. As a guide, it's roughly the equivalent of giving a paper draftsman who's been working off an A4 sheet of paper for years, taking that A4 sheet off them, and then giving them an A3 sheet of paper instead to work off. This ultra wide has 2.4 times more usable working screen real estate than a regular monitor. What does that mean? Well, people don't just work with one single solo application all day. I mean, I know 
I'm sure most of you know this because you'll do it yourselves. You don't just work in one program, but engineers tend to have multiple documents open at any one time to get their job done. They might have their main CAD application open, a calc tool like MathCAD, Outlook, a couple or even several PDFs that they're checking, Excel spreadsheets, internet browsers looking at suppliers websites for standards, just to name but a few things. And they don't have all those things open just to make yourself look busy. They need to see them and typically they'll need to see the PDF, for example, the things that they're doing in the CAD application. That results in a hell of a lot of alt tabbing between programs. And guess what they're not doing whilst they're alt tabbing through 12 tiles every minute or so? Well, they're not working and they can't actively work on the designs whilst they've got another document open in the foreground either. And I can possibly guess where you, what you're thinking at this point. And that is having a dual two monitor setups the solution. I mean, we've been doing this for years and yeah, why not? Sure, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like having two monitors isn't a good solution to lack of screen real estate. And for many people that's fine you don't always end up with two matching monitors but it gives you more space simplifying it down it's two separated small spaces versus one larger space and this one ultra wide screen factually has more screen real estate than two regular monitors combined but getting into specifics now since I made the decision to make this video I've been closely observing the staff in the office that I work in and watching how they lay out their applications and what I've noticed is that even with two monitors, people still tile their applications side by side on a single screen. Take a look at this color chart, for example. The green area is the extent of the screen space that you get on a regular monitor. Whether it be a 24 inch screen all the way up to a 100 inch size panel, that's it. That's how much space you've got to work with. It's just magnified as the screen size gets larger. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that this isn't good enough and it's never been good enough. What I'm saying is that it's a simple objective fact that going from this much space to this much space is better. Assuming you, like most people, have your Outlook open on the second monitor, try tiling your CAD application alongside a PDF document on a single regular display. It's just not feasible, so you have to alt tab between the two. On an ultra wide, however, you can practically and effectively work in that CAD client, as well as having two PDFs open in view for checking, or a PDF and a calc sheet, whatever you want. And you can use the proprietary monitor tiling software to arrange them uh, with snap fit, drag and drop. But moving on from multitasking, where you truly reap the benefits of ultra wide displays is from the frankly grotesque abundant amount of sheer design space that you gain here. Check this out. The design space is incredible. Context is increased significantly. Engineers can see more of their work in progress in one viewing, giving them not only greater immersion in their design, but also an increased awareness of what's going on in and around the point of interest. And this isn't just meaningless fluff talk. This is real, tangible, immediate boosts in workspace interaction. A greater perspective of design context will assist an engineer in identifying any design issues which may otherwise have gone unnoticed in a smaller view session. And that enhanced work area directly equates to fewer view navigation options as well. So basically, less time continuously zooming and panning around to fit objects into the view will directly translate into increased productivity because they're not zooming and panning and orbiting all the time. Here's 2D AutoCAD. Scale this up onto an ultra wide and he's got an entire new perspective on what's going on in and around that area. That hugely increased canvas space can only help increase productivity and reduce potential error. But you don't need to imagine all this. That's the thing, you can have this. I've got it and it's not unobtainably expensive either. Two regular monitors of a decent quality could set you back roughly around 500 quid together. But at today's prices, you can have one of these ultra wides on your desk for roughly 600 quid. Call me crazy, but if something's genuinely going to directly help engineers increase their output and minimize error to this level, whilst giving them a far more comfortable workspace as well, for what is a minimal one off additional cost over buying two monitors, and it's going to yield those benefits over several years as well. How is this not a no-brainer at this point? So that's all this is, uh, just awareness. Just, just give it a thought, that's all I ask, just give it a thought. The world's moved on, it's long moved on from regular monitors, so let's not get stuck in the past in an industry which ironically thrives on innovation. So thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. Uh, links will be in the description down below if you want to check out this monitor and have a look at some other ultra wide monitors. I remember I intentionally didn't speak about specs in this one. I intentionally omitted them on purpose. That was, that was intentional. But thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one. Toodles.